Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we've moved outside because I want to talk servers and when to renew your server. If you have a perfectly good server and you're in a business, when is it time to replace that server with another server? And we moved outside just because we can. It's awesome weather here, so we've done that. So if you are running a business or if you are working in a business that has servers, you will know of this thinking that when the server is out of warranty, someone will come and tell you that it's time to change that server and it's cheaper to get a new server with new warranty and stuff like that. And I want to go over and see if is, is that worth it. So um, I have brought my little blackboard, which is a not a blackboard, but a thinky to draw on. And we're going to be doing that. So we're going to be using some old data here. Let's say that we back in 2008 uh, bought the IBM slash Lenovo X3650 model one and the price was five thousand dollars ish uh, that's not accurate but it's a nice round number so when this server let's say this runs for three years three years and in that time um, a server like this is delivered with three years of warranty uh, by standard so for three years the server does not cost anything in service it does cost something in power so this server um, that used a fair amount of power so something like 250 watts was not on normal 250 watts that will cost us something also the server needs to be cooled we will put that in uh, the cooling uh, I think that's about 33% extra of the power if you have a good cooler. So it's uh, 250 watts plus 33% in cooling. So I'll do that calculation. That is 332 watts. Let's just say 330 watts. And we will, um, what does that cost over three years? Um, so we uh, multiply that by 24 hours. There. So it uses seven, it uses eight kilowatt hours of power every day. And we multiply that by three year, uh, a year, 365 that and and we multiply that by three years so the total amount of power that the show will be used have used is uh, 8738 oh that's is that kilowatt yeah that's kilowatt hours there uh, we have a price for that here and it's just gonna be rough numbers here in Denmark that's two two crowners um, and two crowners is see that's divided by six four dollars so that's that's 33 cents per kilowatt hour so that is another two thousand nine hundred and twelve dollars uh, in power usage over three years. So the total cost of having this server uh, hardware, not including any software, uh, would be $7,912. Let's just do that, $7,912. Um, three years of server running that. Um, so if we want a new one, how would that look? Okay, so uh, if this server has been running for three years and we started this in 2008, now would, we would be at 2011. 
and at about 2011 that is when the Model 3 was um, the normal server to get in the IBM Lenovo um, high-end server range here and the price would be about the same might actually have been a bit higher M1 was pretty cheap for a server of that capacity but if we were to buy a uh, similar server not exactly the same one because of course we get some we get a better server three years later usually not as much better as you would expect of course you can go out and buy a, a server that is a lot better but then you would pay way more than uh, $5,000 for it the CPU just gets uh, you pay ridiculously lot you pay a ridiculous lot for the last that ant is not getting a cameo you pay ridiculously much for the last little bit so we um, let's say we go out and get this model 3 here um, similar CPU it has been it has improved similar configuration uh, it will have more RAM let's say we get we get the, the up here in the model 1 we will probably have gotten that with one gigabyte blocks down here in the model 3 we will have gotten that with four gigabyte blocks so we might get four times the amount of memory at least maybe, maybe even more um, but the power consumption of that is mm, the memory is about the same the CPUs are also about the same but the technology has improved so we get more out of it so the normal for, for this server we would actually have dropped down to about 150 watts um, plus 33 uh, percent in cooling if you don't have active cooling well those 33 um, percent doesn't matter so this comes to about 200 watts and I'll do the math for how much power this will use also three years this also comes with three years of warranty everything is covered uh, IBM slash Lenovo will come and fix the server on location for those five thousand uh, dollars everything is good for three years whatever goes wrong is included in warranty that comes with power supplies discs RAM whatever would break in the server would be fixed the price for running this server power wise will be 1751 or 52 dollars for three years uh, so that comes to a total of six thousand seven hundred and fifty two dollars and so the next three years would be cheaper because the server has improved in power efficiency if we get a newer server let's say we get the m4 well we will see the m4 dropping even more in power consumption i think we are down to about a hundred watts in average power of course when when you stress this server it will use more um, so this is general it's overall doing normal work maybe 30 50 percent workload and then sometimes it's average right so um, is it worth it to replace this server uh, this server you probably get some more efficiency out of it you, you get the power efficiency you probably also would get some more work out of it uh, I would expect that from from the CPUs you would get in the M1 up here to the CPUs you would get in the M3 down here that would probably be a doubling in performance so the the server would be double as powerful that might make the biggest difference but if let's say this server is really doing a okay job it's not as if it's not doing its job it's doing okay would it then be worth it to replace it with this one there are so many aspects of this but we'll just try and look at the money and see if if that's good what would it cost us if we wanted to prolong the life of this uh, and not buy this server for three years it will run out of service so we need some service for this server it's also going to be using the same amount of power for those next three years compared to getting the new server where we could actually sell this old server 
uh, and get some money out of that. The next three years it will be using the same amount of power. Let's say that. We need some service for it and I kind of know that service for a server like this would be around $20 a month. That's um, I got a prize from Nordic Computer at some point and that was in that range. So $20 a month. Where do I write that? $20 per month. And so we have 36 months. So we will 36 and we will get some kind of a number out of that. I can actually do that in my head. So if 36 times 10, we have 20 here. If I just multiply it by 10, that's 360, double that. That's $720 for three years of warranty, hardware warranty on this server, uh, where a company like uh, the Nordic computer, which I visited, would come and do what um, about the same as Lenovo and IBM has been doing for the first three years. So combined, that would be together with those, that's 3,600. And $32 for the next two years, three years, keeping the server running for six years. That's that's not a bad price. Um, if this server is doing okay or was doing okay, would it then be okay for it to run uh, in this period? The next three years would be from 2000 to 2014, right? and then it would probably be time for it to go on pension after that oh that would actually that would actually be up here okay what if uh, what if we replaces this and gets this one instead if we uh, if, if we after three years sell this server uh, we paid five thousand dollars for it it hasn't grown in value over the, that period of time we can probably get uh, that, that would be in 2011. Let's say we would get a thousand dollars for a server like that. Three years old, uh, one thousand dollars. So we would add one thousand dollars down here, plus one thousand dollars. So this price is really one thousand dollars less because we got a thousand dollars for the old server here. Or we could reduce that price with one thousand dollars. It really doesn't matter. So what would that have cost us? First, we let's say we paid seven thousand nine hundred and twelve dollars for running the first server for three years. Then we we're gonna subtract one thousand dollars for that because we made that. So it's gonna be five thousand seven hundred and fifty-two dollars. That equals. Thirteen thousand six hundred and sixty-four dollars. Where this one up here would be, that's uh, this cost of the server plus the cost of running it for an additional three years, and that comes out to eleven thousand five hundred and forty-four dollars. So there is about a two thousand dollar difference. Uh, of changing to a newer server, uh, that server. Uh, for that money you of course get a lot of new functionality and you also get the performance. If this was, let's say this um, was a regular server back in 2008, well this one down here might be able to be a virtualized server where you could be running VMware and well two thousand dollars for being able to virtualize multiple of these well it suddenly looks like a really good deal to replace that server so it really depends on what the server is doing if it's a good deal to replace it if um, if you're gonna replace the server with a server doing exactly the same thing well it's a bad deal it will cost you an additional two thousand dollars if you're gonna replace the server uh, with another server that is gonna be doing more tasks because of the the more performance you can get out of it well it's definitely going to be an awesome deal but if we can replace this older server with one of these newer server and that newer server will be able to do the tasks of uh, two servers uh, 
but maybe by virtualizing it or actually just moving the tasks over because it is that much more powerful. That is gonna be $3,632 uh, on each of the two servers that can be saved. And those additional $2,000 down here is saved in no time. It very much depends on what your servers are doing. Well, if we move this up to today and you have a host, um, let's say this host uh, has 10 virtual machines on it and you have three of those. It might be a good deal to get new hardware if you can save a host. Um, by saving a host, you also save licenses. That is probably a good other video. But you also run into that, let's say we have 50 virtual machines uh, running on three hosts. So do we really want to save a host and only run on two hosts? What if something happens that we only have one host? And that might not be very good for our performance in the event of something bad happening. So in that event, we might actually want to stay on three servers to have the redundancy and the safety for that. And then it might not be a good deal to actually replace the hardware because that will be the same as just uh, replacing the hardware one to one. Even though we get the double amount of performance, we might not really need that performance and then it's just wasted. Uh, I'm sure there is more than one view on this. so. Uh, do uh, agree or disagree in the comments below and I will enjoy reading your views on this. I'm sure we can agree to disagree on some of these things, but some of it is also just up to what do we use our servers for, how critical are they. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.